I'd like to show you a couple of things that you should remember whenever you're trying to use your calculator uh, to do some trigonometry. One of the most important things to remember when doing trigonometry with a calculator is to make sure that your calculator is in the correct mode, uh, meaning it should be in either degrees, radians, or some other measurement uh, whenever you're dealing with your angles. So notice that this calculator is given in degrees. To change it, you have the DRG button, which changes from degrees to radians, and in this case, it goes to gradients. Once you ensure that your calculator is in the correct mode with respect to the units, the degrees, radians, or gradients, uh, doing most of the trigonometry is a fairly simple task. So for instance, if I wanted to calculate the sine of 37 degrees, I would first make sure that my calculator is in degree mode, type in 37, and then hit the sine button. For the inverse sine, the domain is from negative 1 to 1, and the range is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. For the inverse cosine, the domain is negative 1 to 1, and the range is from 0 to pi. For the inverse tangent, the domain is from negative infinity to infinity, and the range is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. If you come across a problem which says, what is the inverse cosine? of the square root of 5 over 2, well, if we try that with our calculator, we would type in 5 to the 0.5 power, which is uh, the square root of 5, divide that by 2, and then we would do the inverse cosine. Notice that we get an error. That is because the square root of 5 over 2 is bigger than 1. It is not included in the domain of inverse cosine. Another problem that we could actually get some answers for is if we're asked to find all of the angles such that the cosine of the angle is the square root of 3 over 2. So in order to do that, first we would type in the square root of 3 over 2, so 3 to the 0.5 power divided by 2, and then we do inverse cosine. That will give us 30 degrees. Now on the onset, one may think that that is the only angle that would give you a cosine of uh, three, square root of 3 over 2. However, there is another angle. Remember that the range of inverse cosine is from 0 to pi, so that is the only angle that you'll get from the, your calculator, that being 30 degrees. However, another angle with the same cosine is negative 30 degrees. The 30 degrees given by your calculator is what we may call a reference angle.